uh, we were discussing about uh, the databases and Python. Actually, uh, we have done a few exercises related to the database and Python. Now we did how to uh, insert, how to select, and also, actually we didn't do how to update. Um, last thing that we I asked you to try is the where clause. Have you tried that? Um, I don't think so. Okay, so what we were discussing, like it is searching, right? So yeah. I just say this is uh, the database file that we were. Is it this? Yeah, I think this search function. Enter ID to search. Right? Okay, so I said that this is similar to the previous one, which is like this select query. So similar to a select query, you can just get the ID. And after that, you can run a simple select query like this. So let's uh, try to execute a query. Actually, you have to get the cursor, all these things needed. Therefore, I'm copying all these things from the select function. Uh, first of all, you have to open the database, opposite, open the connection, and after that, getting the cursor is must, then executing the select query. Uh, but here, the query need to be changed. It's not the same query because you are having an ID. I said like you can use a key ID. So therefore, you have to go to the database and then in the database, uh, so let's open that first, otherwise it will not run. Okay, I have started my MAM server. So therefore the services including uh, PHP, Apache, uh, this uh, and also local host, uh, that means Apache server and PHP my admin, which is uh, giving access to the database interface is now working. You can see, and our database is a uh, host DB user and there are the DBL user was the one and I need to refer to the UID here. I need to uh, refer to the UID. Let's write SQL there. Uh, I don't need all the UIDs here. When I start, when I see this, there are three records. Let's say I want to get uh, the cousin's records. So yeah, the user ID is three. How to give this query, how to write this query. I have to write, select asterisk from uh, TBL, the same table, table, what is the table name? This TBL user where you have to say the condition where UID or the user ID is equal to three. That is the customs record, UID equal three. Let's run this query and this will return us only customs record. You can see, select asterisk from TBL user where UID equal three. Similar way, you have to edit or alter the query to get the specific, specific, row you can use this row uh, student id which is this sorry you have to use this specific user id which is uh, taken as the input then after getting this uid you have to edit the query Okay, can you uh, try that? Can you try that quickly? Now I have given like almost 90% of the, 95% given. So try it next 5% remaining by adding the where clause and the ID. So the problem this here is can you see the person like select asterisk from the people user where uh, UID, is it UID in your database also? Yeah. It is. Did you check the field yeah. name? Is is it UID? Go to the local host, PHP my admin. Yeah, that one. Check whether your database has UID. 
that is the first thing uh, table go inside the table sorry uh yeah, it is your yeah. idea. Okay. It is your idea. Okay, go back and now uh, that part is okay. The next part is like uh, UID equal the student ID. Student ID is what you have taken from here as integer. Can you see? Yeah. You are taking and... that as integer, right? So can we add? Uh, can we just uh, mention integer inside string? You can't right? Oh. You have to remove that STID part. Equal you can keep, but STID you have to remove, and then you have, you have to use plus sign after this, after this quotation, after this quotation, the plus is concatenation. Oh. Yeah, you have to add yeah. that uh, separately. Then you can say str uh, STID. Why str? Because you need to convert that to oh, strings. Yeah, yeah. Str STID uh, within record. Then, uh... Okay, try it now mm -hmm. and see whether it uh, executes. Eh? Oh, wait, hold on. I'm set up. Yeah. You get it. Okay. Right, understood. Understood. Yeah, I understand. Okay. Yeah. So, similar way, you can search from other fields also, right? This is just using STID, you know, but you can use the name field. Uh, so, other fields in the database, you can use those fields for searching. You can apply other fields too, right? You can apply other fields too, means like uh, you can say instead of this use ID, you can search from uh, some other fields. So here, let's say you are searching from email, email like uh, maybe uh, okay, at Gmail. So those who have in Gmails. So this is, uh, okay, empty results. No one is having Gmail. I'm having two G, uh, Gmail, okay, one second. Let's search. Uh, so, how to search it? Select asterisk from uh, TVL user via um, email. Via email. You can say like. Uh, you can say here within within single quotation. So, starting from anything, but in the middle, Gmail, and uh, ending from anything. So when you write like this, you can see it's getting the results. It's getting uh, who's having Gmails. Those will be given, right? Here, select asterisk from TBL user. We are email like Gmail. So having Gmails will be listed here. So likewise, you can do this in various ways, different ways. Right? You can do this in different ways. So you can search by name, search by email, search by in pictures, search by first name, search by last name. So can be applied to anything. And even you can uh, search by two, two credentials. So uh, this Gmail is very important. So you, you can exactly give the email saying where uh, email equal, but uh, here like is basically not getting the exact match, close matching. Close matching will be considered. Right, okay, now you know how to do these parts. So now actually I need to focus your attention I need to give attention to some other part. So we have done uh, creating data table. Yes, we have done. That is actually, you know, that is belong that belongs to DDL, data definition language, DDL, data definition, because creating, defining, altering these things. And you have some uh, issue in the table, like you have not added some field, like uh, in my table, I can see uh, UID, first name, last name, email, password, picture. But I think you have not added the picture part in your table. So let's add those also. We can do like that. So we have to alter the table. How can we alter the table? So let's see. So these are the queries that we have learned. Create database will create a database. Show tables, show databases will show the databases. Show tables will show the tables. Create table, we have learned that. We'll create a table here. Yeah, this is the note for that. And uh, here actually I'm creating few more tables. 
but I'm creating uh, actually a few more tables. So let's do that now. I'm creating TPL student, having student ID, first name, last name, TP and address. Then I'm creating TPL marks because I just need to show you how to merge few more tables. Student marks is having the student ID, same student ID and the maths, English and science marks. Then the teacher table, having teacher ID, subject, telephone number, and also the subject class. So then the class table having uh, the CID, uh, basically class ID, trade and the category, right? Category, okay. So let's create these four tables now. I have four tables in the databases. So let's create these four tables now. So you can create those tables in the same database. So let me show the queries. The first table is student, marks, teacher, and class. So shall we create those four tables? This is very important to next set of queries. Okay, quickly do that. You can execute this uh, in uh, the SQL part, right? You have to go to the PHP my admin, then go to SQL and write these queries that will be executed. Let me press go. Okay, let's see this. Let's do it quickly. This meeting is being recorded. So it should have showed up somewhere yeah. around here, but I can't. Is it here? Um, but yeah. you have put it to the other table. So you have to go uh, inside your table, your database. So don't change this database because MySQL database is belongs to the system. Anyway, that now keep as it is. Now uh, just go to the DB, your database. What is your database? DB test. All oh, right, okay. Then uh, what you need to go is, do is like go to SQL there. You have to write your SQL there, right? So what I can do is I'll, I'll basically copy and paste this thing. Can you just copy paste the same? I have sent it to the chat. Otherwise it okay. will take a long time. Okay. Right, uh, now execute it. That will create, uh, okay, this is uh, what? This is marks table. Other tables also? This is teacher table. Okay. Then the. Because last time when I tried to make the tables, I used the, uh, I used my terminal. Ah. Huh. That that's what I use. So this uh, yes, terminal is okay, but this one is also, this is convenient. This is convenient, means faster, convenient. Like if you have any issue, like even terminal, uh, you can use, doesn't matter. The terminal also, you can you have to do the same way, but you need to type that. Uh, and uh, you can't edit this after you uh, have done any, uh, any, any mistake, then you have to re-edit, rewrite that. That issue yeah. is there. Okay, anyway, now you can see the tables are there. So let's go to, uh, I, I would like to show you something like how can we create the relationship because we call these things relations, right? We call these things relations as these tables are basically having certain connection. Uh, to make the relation, you can go to the designer. Can you see there's something called designer at the end? Okay. Oh. Just go there and you can see four tables. Right now, uh, Right. These are the four tables. This is our designer view. Actually, we can link these tables together to understand what is the relationship of these. Uh, the one thing, the uh, relationship number one, you can say the student ID in the student, right? Student ID in the student, and then uh, the student marks. How we how can we find the student marks? Again, from the student ID, right? Right, student ID yeah. in the student table and the student ID in the marks table are related, right? So we can mm -hmm. do something like this. We can say, so the primary key or the main key is student ID and the foreign key is marks. But here we have small issue in this table. I didn't mention that because we have to execute the alter query. I didn't mention that some students, like, so there are different terms 
first term, second term, or first year, second year. So we, if we enter marks into the table, so let's say Minaga's mark, Minaga student ID is one two, one two six. If you want to yeah. enter the Minaga's marks again into this table, will it support? Um, no. Why? Because the primary key will be duplicated, right? So one yeah. two six you have to enter again, so it will be duplicated. So it won't support to enter two times. So there is a problem. Therefore. My suggestion is, let's uh, int integrate, let's add a surrogate key. Surrogate key means something like, a, it's like a pseudo. It's, no, it's not a real key, but just a key to maintain the record ID. So let's uh, add something like mark ID, MID, mark ID, and make it a primary key. Then what you can do is, we can uh, change the existing primary key to foreign key. Foreign key means like the key comes from the student table like this right let me show that first then you can apply this to your table okay these are the tables and let me enter these tables first i'm going to insert like i'm going to write these tables p and paste and add these tables to my database and let's go to the sql and i'm executing all four queries together this will create all four tables so let's see these are the tables now right what uh, so what i feel is uh, when i go to the designer what i feel is this so having uh, this one having just give me a second Okay, sorry. See here. The problem here is basically adding two marks because, like, if you if that's for the same students, we cannot add another mark. Therefore, I'm going to introduce another key. So that is why it is called surrogate key because uh, you know the surrogate father and surrogate mother. So this is they are in our nature, you know, surrogate father and surrogate mother means it's not the real mother, but the person who take care of. Similar to that, this is not the real key, but the person, the key who key which take care of the record. Let me introduce that. Actually, for that, I need to introduce a new, new field, new field. So how can I do? I can use alter table query. Let me go to this and I can say alter, alter table. And the table name is DBL user add then you have to tell the column to be added you can write the same with me so what is the column to be added so here so this is the query all the table add then you have to tell the column name and the definition or the description so let's say i need to add the uh, mark id mid i'm just mentioned inside this uh, mid i need to add mid let's do angle quotes 
MID. Add MID, then I have to tell, okay, integer. So this is four. Uh, let's say not now. Okay, this is my definition. Let me go. And you can see it is added now. Alt table TBL user. Oh, I have added to the wrong table. It's not to the TBL user. I have to add that to what? I have to add that to the mark table. So I have done the same mistake. I have to add this to TBL, no, marks table, marks table, yeah, this table. Right, sorry. Oh, all the table marks at MID uh, int for not null. So that will add, that will add my, oh, sorry. You can see that will add my record, sorry, my field to the table. So please do this all the table marks. Add MID INT4, not not. Done. Hello. Oh, sorry. I'm trying to find the the diagonal quotations. That is uh, basically I'm... with the escape. Uh, just, oh. uh, just below the escape key. Oh, okay. And just below the escape. Okay. Key. With the tilde mark. If you have the yeah. tilde mark, this mark with that, that angle quotation. Yeah, okay, I found it. Okay, on the table. Now I have added the new column. It is not difficult, right? Later also we can add a column. Now the problem is I need to remove the primary key and add the new primary key. So first of all, I have to drop the or remove the primary key. So that need to be done now. Okay, this part is done. And also at the same time, I have mistakenly added something to my uh, TBL user table. I have to drop that. So let's uh, write all the table TBL marks. This is a TBL user. I have to say drop. Drop, uh, what is MID, right? Drop. MID because I don't need that for in that table. I'm dropping from the TBL user table. Okay. Done. Now, if I go to the TBL user table, I cannot see any column called MID. It is removed. And I go to the marks table, you can see it is uh, where's the mark table? The side is there, right? I added the field. Let me add it again. What uh, user table? No. SDID. Yes. I have to add it again. Something wrong. Alter table. So let's give the database also DB. Otherwise, it might confuse DB user dot marks add MID integer for. Not now. I saw that is added. Don't know what has happened. Okay, it is added. Total marks. Yeah, it is there. It is there. Okay. Something where maybe I didn't execute the previous query. Okay, let's see. It's there. Okay, I hope you are done. Hello. Sorry, I think I'm I think I messed something up. Uh have you completed this? No. Uh not yet. I need to so this was in which table? Marks table. I have added to the marks table. This one. 
Oh. Hmm. Yeah. MID. You can simply, not... do, simply do this. You can add one column after, uh, like after science and go and add this graphic in GUI, but the thing is you need to know the query. Okay, share it to me, then I'll show you. Please share it to me. Okay. Okay. Uh... Mm. So I tried to do the the code, but it didn't work. No, it should work. Yeah, give me that. So write the query quickly. Alter table, alt, alter, alter table. Then uh, what is the table name? Marks. Marks. Space. Add. Uh, space. The record name, MID. Uh, the field name, MID. Space. Uh, then INT4, not null. So I just added the definition. So what is INT4 and space? INT ink. Four, not null. So that is all. Not null. Okay. Not hmm? no, not, not null. null. So that is not empty. You have to tell that. Okay, go. Done. Okay. Okay, go to the browse and you can see. Uh, structure. Let's structure, structure. Just yes, MID is added. To the last frequency, it is added. Now the problem is changing the primary key. So first of all, I need to drop the existing primary key. Then alter again, alter table. This time uh, marks drop primary key. I'm dropping the primary key. Okay, executed. Alter table marks drop primary key. That is simple query, all the table marks, and I'm dropping the primary key of marks table. Now you can see when you go to the structure here, you can see the primary key, the key is removed. It is not no more. It is not SID. And going back to the SQL and telling alter table, uh, again, marks, add primary key, then you have to tell the key field. What is the key field? Key field is add primary key MID. That's it. MID. Okay, go to the structure and you can see now MID is the primary key. I have removed the primary key from STID, drop primary key, then add it to the uh, MID. Now, this is the primary key. Now, I can do, I can add multiple. So, let's go back to the DB user. I can now create this relationship. Let's go to the designer. And this designer, now I, I can see extra uh, field in uh, this marks table. So, I can create the relationship easily. So let me show how to create a small relationship, one relationship. Here you have to go to the create relationship button, this link. Then you have to select. Um, okay, table student STID. And that should be related to the marks table STID. Create relationship, okay. I think I need to index these columns. So one more thing. So let's go to the uh, marks table, go into the structure and I need to index this. Index, index, index. So index this, I need to add an index to this. You can say here yeah, index. Right, index. Let's see this now. Go to the designer back again, trying to do things again, student and the marks table relationship. Create the relationship. 
student ID referring to the student ID here, same student ID. We can say when you delete the student, you need to delete the marks too. When you delete the student, you have to say on delete cascade. When you delete the student, delete the mark. When you update the student, update the mark. On delete cascade, on update cascade. That means when you're deleting the primary key, the foreign key need to be, or this, the other table records need to be deleted. So let's say you are deleting a student permanently, you are deleting the marks too. That is a risky operation. You have to think twice and do. You don't need marks when student is not there. Considering that, I can apply these settings. Click OK, and you can see there will be a relationship after that. Okay. After that, there will be a relationship. If you have done this correctly, there will be a link. Unfortunately, I cannot see that. Let's try it one more time. Uh, table student reference to the marks. Okay. I already exist. It, it is already there. It says relationship already. The only thing is I cannot see. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This link is there. Now only it's updated. You can see this link is there. These are called relational databases. That's why there, there are relationship between these tables. I just wanted to give you that idea. What's the relation? Run table, relational databases. There are multiple tables, and these tables are having relationships. Okay, try to implement this part next day. Then we'll discuss uh, next day, we'll set up all the relationships and try to obtain data from multiple tables that need to be done. I'll do that task tomorrow. But uh, before that, you have to try this. Whatever I have done, so I have what I did, I just drop the primary key, add the primary key to the new one. And then what I did, like I have added the index. Adding index can be done similar way, alter table uh, marks, add index STID. Because it is indexed, the reason is it is, a, it is another key. That is why the indexing is added. Actually, this is called the primary key, the main key. This is called the foreign key, referenced key. So this is the reference key. This is foreign key. Foreign key means the primary key which came from another table. Primary key which came from another table is called foreign key. Okay. I'll discuss the remaining part tomorrow. Bye. Bye.